Well, Clemson University is a land-grant institution that's had a tremendous impact on the world of agriculture. Well, Chip Carter spent time on campus with alumni just to show us how much in our new series, Clemson Reach. Today, we meet a graduate who owns the oldest quail farm. I am out in the countryside near Columbia, South Carolina at Manchester Farms. This is the oldest quail farm in the United States. Mr. Bill, this was, uh, this was your idea sometime back in the 1970s. Tell us how all this came to be. When I quit Camel Soup, I had to make a living. So I went and started trying to sell quail in the stores and I'd take them to the grocery stores and made some boxes with labels on them and stuff like that. And it's just one step at a time, one step at a time. And, so now you decided to raise the, the Pharaoh variety of quail instead of the Bob White, which might be a little more familiar to people, but tell us the difference. Well, the Pharaoh has more moisture in the meat, without a doubt. And the, the Bob White has a lot of white dry meat. And when I eat a chicken, I eat the legs and the thighs. I don't eat the breast meat. So 50 cents of us eat the quail Pharaohs, and the other half eat Bob Whites when they can find them. The, the, the growth here has been extraordinary. Let's talk about numbers. Let's talk about how many, how many birds do you move out of this facility in a week or a month or a year? It's, it's a lot. Yeah, so we um, are not necessarily the largest um, quail farm in the U.S., but we are the oldest. We, my dad started, there was no commercial quail ever eaten in the country before he opened this farm. And he got in with some retailers and some fine dining restaurants that found out about what he was doing. And it's just kind of exponentially grown from there. And so we sell mostly mainstream grocery stores, as well as um, distributors that sell to restaurants across the country. And we ship anywhere from 80 to 100,000 birds a week uh, for quail meat. And then we sell anywhere from two to 300,000 fresh eggs a week as well. What part of Clemson, how did the university prepare you for what you do today? You know, being a woman in, in the ag business, that's was early on in the 90s and um, you know there was mostly men in the department and they opened their arms to me. I didn't think of myself as anything other than a poultry student and that's how they treated me and let me grow and thrive and the science that they taught me, the business that they taught me, the marketing structures I still use today. Um, Clemson is just a wholesome environment to to grow up in and it's small but it's large at its own time so you don't feel like you get lost but you feel you know that you're connected to it very much so and of course the sports program just makes it even better so that's all part of that Clemson reach from the biggest farm to the tiniest bird in Columbia South Carolina I'm Chip Carter from southeastproduceweekly.com reporting for RFD TV as always, thank you very much, Chip. Now, remember to tune in for Clemson Reach. That's every Tuesday and Thursday at 1025 in the morning, Eastern Time on the Market Day Report.